Here's a question for you. When was the last time you saw a crowded mall? Well, get ready because tomorrow that is likely to happen again. Westfield said when the state reopens tomorrow, they will return back to full capacity at all their malls. And NBC4's Conan Nolan is live for us at Westfield Topanga now with more on the changes coming. Conan. That's right. Keep in mind that malls have had a bad or had a bad even before the pandemic. Scores of them closed around the country. So for those that have survived, they're hoping that starting tomorrow there will be a reset, particularly with so many younger customers who've been shopping online. But if that happens, you'll still have to bring your mask. Upbeat and ready for a retail revival. Honestly, the feeling is just excitement. Molly Unger is the West Coast point person for the Westfield malls, including Westfield Topanga and the village. What's tomorrow going to look like? Tomorrow for us, it's going to look like, you know, the mall of the pre pandemic. So full capacity, no masks. Full capacity and no masks for fully vaccinated individuals. Those without the vaccine have been asked to keep the mask on, mostly on the honor system. Correct, mostly on the honor system. That sounds good to most. California economists say there's pent up demand. People are ready to spend. Very excited. I think it's time. Super excited. Why? Because after a pandemic, it's been a long time. Hopefully it'll go back to normal in a sense. In a sense. Yeah, I'm a little scared because um, the honor system is never great. Karen Lovano works at Sage Natural Wellness, one of a multitude of stores in the mall that will maintain its own standards. Masks for everyone, vaccinated or not. I'm a little worried. I live with um, elderly people and it's a little, you know, you never know. You're not vaccinated yet, are you? I am not. She's worried about people like Luis Palomino, who says he's had chances to get vaccinated, but simply hasn't. Uh, I don't know. I just don't really think I'm uh, need it. Palomino says he will still wear a mask voluntarily when in the mall or in stores, part of the new condition facing in-person retail. The hope for pre-pandemic crowds amidst lingering concerns about a virus that has changed so much for so many for so long. One of the other concerns for the store owners, according to the mall management, is the fact they just don't have enough employees. Almost everyone is looking. They'll hire on the spot. And if they don't get enough workers, that could inhibit the recovery. I'm Conan Nolan, NBC4 News.